have everybody re-tonight. It's really, really exciting. And to celebrate Bill Yarrow's uh, yeah. launch of both chat books. So Thank yay. You. <laughs> Thank you. It's very, very exciting. Um, so Chair Baina Barbara Press will go first. And so our first reader will be Pui Ying Wang. Pui. <laughs> Yay. Thank you everyone, so good of you to be here, and thank you Gloria, and really great delight to be reading with uh, other readers. Um, so, get right into it. <laughs> At Cray and Barrow, we track deeper and deeper inside the store reaching for the faraway world. Here's the solid bow, made of Indonesian mango wood, stained it with the tropical wood. There's a set of placemats, made of sea grasses from the Philippine coast, woven by women who live in fetch houses. Glasswares that satisfy every desire, the elegant platter, candy dish, and gravy bowl, hand blown by art artisans with strong lungs and limbo fingers. Polis crystal, finished textiles, the world beckons. Can we love them all? These days it takes more and more to feed our hungry house. <clears throat> Tim Sermont winner of the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Just because it happened in a dream doesn't mean it won't happen in what we call the real world. <laughs> After breakfast, I asked my wife to help me rustle up a suitable ensemble, since I expect a call from the Academy soon. <laughs> Surely they have my number on file. <laughs> she offers to also assist me with my acceptance speech, but I tell her politely, that I'll take care of all by myself. <laughs> and for the rest of the day, everywhere, I lumber around like Charles de Gaulle, basking in the cheers of the multitudes, lying rows deep along the Champs-Élysées in Paris in August of 1944. <laughs> Attila Joseph wrote, dampness gross the twilight, sort of like the state of my Nobel Prize, but my ending will be better. Even, maybe, because I'll never wear that ensemble for the occasion, despite everything I believe, nor get to give that glorious speech I was born for. <laughs> 